We're here in North Nashville at Marathon Village to catch up with the Jefferson Street poet, James Floyd. Now a cultural icon in this neighborhood, Floyd has recently brought a New York artist here to the Marathon Village, and he's just had an exhibition. We'll go in and meet James and find out what's going on with artist Arthur Barnes. New York artist Arthur Barnes has enjoyed a long friendship with the Jefferson Street poet James Floyd. He had a recent exhibition here in the historic Marathon Village, and today we're gonna good we're gonna get a good idea of just what Arthur Barnes is all about. Join us. Thanks, Arthur. Hi. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Tell us something about the theme of your most recent work. Well, recently I've been working on uh, the theme of uh, landscapes from Wales and England. And um, three years ago I was there visiting relatives. I'm half English, I have a lot of relatives there. And, um, and I didn't have time to paint, but I did a lot of photographs during the show. I had like 20 here in the show. And, but I, I made up my mind that I was going to come, come again and spend like two months and paint. So I, I went there last summer, I spent two months there, and I did a whole series of watercolors, which I've never done watercolors before, so it was like a... I had a um, new theme and new and new media, and it was, it was a lot of fun. I did uh, end up doing like uh, ten, you know, fairly mm -hmm. very good pieces. Was there a, a transition period there before you could crank up the speed with the watercolors? Yes, it was. Actually, I started first. I just kept sketching. I was doing black and white, doing some pencil drawing, and then I did a, a black and white watercolor, and then uh, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty I pretty much mastered pen and ink, so I did one that was kind of pen and ink and watercolor, and then I. I gradually worked up to the more full-blown watercolor. So worked out pretty good. Okay. Let's look at some of your other pieces. Sure. Sure. Okay. This piece is one of the early pieces that I did. Uh, I just got worked up doing some painting drawings, and then uh, I started going into watercolor, but I, I stuck with just black and a little bit of red to keep the contrast. Uh, this was the ruins of a uh, Halton Castle near a church, and uh, I did this from life. All these pictures I did from life. I just kind of sat there on a mall parking lot and I looked at the scene and uh, I did this one first just kind of work my way up into color. This watercolor, this is one that's a little more developed in the series. It's, it's, it's towards the end of the series and um, this is a Welsh belly near, near where I was staying at my cousin's house. Um, I just kind of sat there in the field and worked on this one in between the rains. It rained a lot and uh, it took about a week to do this one mostly just because of the weather. But it's one of the ones that's a little more uh, further developed than the other ones. This painting is called The Open Gate, and it's the signature painting for the series. Arthur, what was it about this scene that made you want to give it such prominence? Well, it, it was such a charming, inviting scene. When I first saw it, I saw it three years ago, and I took a lot of pictures of the gate. I just love this old wooden gate, and I, and I love the church. We went inside the church and the churchyard, and it's just it was a real charming place. And, um, I made up my mind that when I came back, this would be a, one of the scenes that I wanted to do. And I came, originally it was going to be a pen and ink drawing. I did a, a very detailed drawing on the Bristol board. It's going to be a pen and ink drawing, which I had confidence in. And I was convinced it would be better in color, so I was a little reluctant. I was afraid I was going to ruin a good drawing, because it was such a nice drawing. But I started working in, in watercolor, but because it was on watercolor paper, I had to paint it kind of thick and not use a lot of water. So. It's not like a real typical watercolor. It's very thick, almost like a, like a acrylic almost. But this is a watercolor. And when I was sitting in there, I'd sit right there, cross-legged on the ground here, and work on this painting. And people would come by, and they'd um, they'd say what a lovely picture it was, and they'd walk through the gate to go into the church. And every time, they would close the gate. And I would have to get back up and open the gate, because that's the way I wanted it. I wanted the gate open, because I wanted it to be inviting, like, welcome. It's an open gate. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome to go to church. Everybody's wel welcome to go to uh, go to uh, just to welcome to God for salvation and all that. So it's a little uh, symbolic. And then next door here, there's an old house, a little old house with this little old lady that uh, lived there. And she would come, she would come out there and she'd say, "Would you like a cushion?" And she'd give me a cushion to sit on. And she'd come out, "Would you like a cup of tea?" So every day she'd come out. Cup there, of tea, no? A cup of tea and a cup of coffee. So she took real good care of me. Um, 
And that was just, I just love this scene. It's one of my favorite paintings, although there was a bear to do. I worked on it a long time. So most watercolors are pretty quick, and you, you just kind of whip them out. But this one I saved with for a long time. But uh, it's one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. This is James Floyd, the Jefferson Street poet, and one of the cultural icons of North Nashville. James, did you realize that this picture here was commissioned for Mario Cuomo, and it hung in the governor's mansion for eight years? I just learned that today. I was admiring it, and Arthur told me a little bit about the history of it. James, why do you feel it's so important to bring Arthur Barnes to Nashville? Arthur's a very brilliant artist, and I think his work should be shared, but uh, more importantly, he's a great guy, and he's a very good friend, and I was glad to see him. And the art aficionados of Nashville are glad to see Arthur Barnes, too. Arthur comes to Nashville once or twice a year, so get ready, Nashville community, and perhaps we can look forward to some scenes of the Erie Canal on his next visit. I'll be back. <laughs>